The Ukrainian World Congress, UWC, has issued an open letter to the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, AMPAS, to review Tom Cruise's Top Gun Maverick due to reports of Russian oligarch Dmitry Rybolovlev's involvement in the film's funding. The UWC expressed its serious concerns over Russian influence in Hollywood and called for the Academy to explicitly reject films with any direct or indirect investments by Russian oligarchs or other enablers of Russia's genocidal war on Ukraine. The letter, which was addressed to Academy President Janet Yang and members of the Board of Governors, was signed by the UWC President Paul Grodd. In the letter, he described Rybolovlev as one of Russia's richest oligarchs additionally referring to the businessman as a known close friend and business partner of the country's deputy prime minister, Yuri Trutnev. Earlier this year, the Los Angeles Times reported that Bradley Fisher, ex-president of the New Republic, claimed that Rybolovlev, located in Monaco, was a major contributor to the financing of Top Gun Maverick and the Mission Impossible sequels. Fisher brought a lawsuit alleging a breach of contract, making claims in the process. The UWC argued that since nobody knew Rybolovlev was apparently involved, it may have led to censorship on behalf of the Kremlin. The organization has a compelling case to make. Unlike the original film, Top Gun, Maverick makes no direct or indirect reference to Russia. This is hardly a coincidence. Maverick makes no mention of its adversaries. In the letter, Grodd also addressed the role of the U.S. military in the production of Top Gun Maverick. The Defense Department was granted access to military aircraft, in exchange for which they were allowed to incorporate their own. In exchange for access to military aircraft, the producers of the movie agreed to allow the Defense Department to include its own key talking points in the script. Perhaps equally important, the script. In order to obtain the backing of the Pentagon, it was essential that the script be composed in a way that would make the military look favorable.